the situation is that your partner is going to give you a strong bridge in one direction or the other once you get to this point. And the reason that they would bridge is because if he turns away from me and he bridges, he can pull his elbow down out of his neck. Exactly. If he turns towards me and bridges, he can get his elbow down to the mat and elbow slip. So one of the things that happens pretty often when somebody is bridging and turning this way and trying to get this elbow down, a lot of the time this arm starts to extend. So sometimes they'll use an underhook around the back to try to help knock you over to bridge. So if I'm here and Andy uses an underhook with his right arm and then bridges and slips his elbow down, the upside for him is that his elbow is free, but then the downside is that his right arm is trapped. So from here, grabbing the wrist with my right hand, sliding Morris, and then sliding my foot over the shoulder. So I'm going to what's called a spiral arm bar. From here, here, blink, blink, blink. Here, he starts turning, and I can pin the wrist, slide north. My heel goes over the shoulder, and then for this one, all I'm doing is leaning this way. From this position, if I wanted to finish the spiral arm bar, there's two ways to do it. One, I can attack the elbow, or I can attack the shoulder. You're probably gonna attack the shoulder more often, because as soon as I do this, you're doing what with your arm? I'm trying to pull it. If you turn that way, it breaks, right? If you turn the other way, it takes some of the pressure off the arm. Hmm. So when I'm here, if his elbow is right here, it's pretty easy to lean, pinch my knees together, and then hip in and finish the arm bar. So let's assume that he turns his arm because this is gonna be way more common. If he turns his arm, what I'm looking for is I wanna slide my knee up towards the elbow, and then from here, I'm gonna pinch down with this knee and pull up on this knee. Sorry, okay? Or is that the crack? Yeah, no. Okay, cool. <laughs> so, the mechanics of it, okay. all I'm doing is basically a Kimura, but for the Kimura pressure, I'm pushing up on his elbow with my thigh, and I'm pushing down on the shoulder with this top leg here while leaning. So pushing down, pushing up, and then it should attack the shoulder pretty strongly. So if we go one more time, here, the timing for this is I go here, blink, blink, blink. He turns to his side. Right, right away, I'm jumping north. And as I pin his wrist to his chest to stop him from catching my foot, putting my heel over his shoulder, falling onto my side. And then as my knee slides up to his elbow, pulling up and pushing down at the same time. One thing about this position is you might feel like the person on bottom can get out of it. But if you start getting out of this, Andy, it's very hard for him to sit up, so if he starts sitting up, because I have his head pinned. If he tries to rip away from me, it's very difficult because my ankle is in the way of his neck. That makes sense? So it's pretty strong, even though it looks like a very weak and, and loose position, it's actually pretty strong on his end. Make sense? Let's give it a shot. Thank you.